Miko is the latest boom mic hugging mythic brawler. He is the definition of sassy. What am I a joke to you? I'm a chimp. I jump around on a monkey bus. Eh, huh? So if his voice lines don't get you, his attacks surely will. Welcome to Miko Explained. Stick around till the end for some of his amazing pins and two sets of voice lines. Miko is a bit of a character. And if you think Loa is a diva, you're in for one hell of a ride. He is a wannabe A-lister and he casually name drops some of the biggest stars. He's definitely a cloud chaser. He gets mad at the drop of a hat, so I don't really recommend joking around with the monkey. Fun fact, Miko is actually a genus of the New World Monkeys containing the Marmosets. Miko is going to be hopping into Brawl Stars for free through the Brawl Days calendar on December 14th. Miko is an assassin brawler with 6,000 health, which is a bit squishy for the specific role that he's been assigned. He moves around the map at a very fast pace, so he should be outspeeding the majority of the brawlers in Brawl Stars. Just remember that I'll be back with more future sneak peeks of Larry and Lori and Kit, so remember to check back soon. Miko's main attack is called the Mike Boom. He leaves forward four tiles attacking multiple enemies with his mic when he lands on them as long as he is within a one tile radius. He packs of wallop with his attack, but his reload speed is 2.38 seconds, which is particularly slow. So make sure you count your ammo properly or you're in a world of hurt. The amazing thing about Miko is that with his mic boom, he can actually jump over walls and other hazards on the map. And while he is airborne, he's actually invincible to all the attacks that the enemy brawlers might try to dole out on him. Basically, if you're really quick with your fingers and have good ping, you can bamboozle a lot of players in Brawl Stars. Miko Super is called out of frame and he literally jumps out of frame when he uses it. While jumping, he becomes invulnerable and you can actually choose where you want Miko to land. He's up in the air for six seconds and his range is a lot. I, I don't know how much it is, but when he does land, he does 2380 damage to multiple enemies in his landing radius while knocking them back as well. This area of effect is around one and a half tiles in radius. So you have to hit targets five times in order to charge up his super with his regular attack. And if you happen to use your super on an enemy, you gotta hit them four times to get your super back. Well, listen, come close. When he's up in the air, he not only heals up, he is also able to reload his ammo as well. So it's safe to say that when he's back, he's gonna be a nuisance. But for those six seconds, his teammates will have to 2v3. Miko's first gadget is called Clipping Scream. Miko yells with all his might at his closest enemies, which result in three shockwaves. When they hit an enemy, they deal 545 damage per shockwave and slow down that enemy for two seconds. But there's more to this gadget than meets the eye. If Miko is within a tile of the enemy, all three shockwaves hit the closest enemy. Otherwise, each shockwave hits a maximum of one enemy up to a total of three. Miko's second gadget is Presto. With this gadget, Miko is able to leap a bit further with his main attack. Instead of leaping about four tiles, he now leaps about five and one third tiles, which would allow him to get into the face of some of the brawlers that he is targeting. Let's talk about Miko's star powers. Miko wanted to work in show business, but he ended up in a a lot of monkey business instead. His first star power is called monkey business. And remember when I said that Miko's reload speed is pathetically slow? Well, with this star power, every five seconds, when Miko jumps on an enemy brawler, he steals back one ammo. But that's not all. If he happens to land onto multiple enemies with the star power active, he doesn't get back one ammo. He gets back one ammo for every single brawler that he happens to hit with that. So that is just gonna make Nico a very big threat on the map. Nico's second star power is a bit underwhelming by comparison. And I feel that a lot of people might not end up using it. Record Smash allows Nico to deal twice the damage to non brawlers. That means that he's gonna be doing twice the damage to things like showdown boxes and and also enemy spawnables as well. Now it's time for some hypercharge. Miko's hypercharge is called sound check. This augments Miko's super by allowing him to stun enemies for 1.5 seconds when he lands on them. When you compound this with the hypercharge buffs, which is gonna give him a bigger shield and more damage, Miko is gonna be super deadly. When using this hypercharge, as long as you get up in the air before the hypercharge animation is done, you'll be able to stun enemies. But 
there is a small wind up for a super, so if you wait too long, you just might miss out on that window of opportunity. To charge up his hypercharge, you need to hit 13 targets with Miko's regular attack and 9 targets with Miko's super. Now, I personally think that Miko is a pretty interesting brawler. He's similar to Mortis in that you can move with your main attack, but that's where the similarities stop. He's definitely going to be a community favorite with his voice lines and his kit for sure. In terms of his effectiveness in the game, it really comes down to the skill level of the player piloting Miko. A great Miko will be a huge threat on any map, while a terrible Miko will probably be me. <laughs> Ammo management seems like the biggest ask for a running Miko, and with his second gadget, getting to enemy brawlers won't seem as difficult. He can outmaneuver throwers with his very fast movement speed and the fact that he can jump over walls as well. He will find it very difficult to take out a tanky threat, so you should probably use him more on modes and maps that don't have tanks being prevalent, though in this current meta, good luck with that. <laughs> as you get more experience with Miko, you will get mastery over him and you'll be rewarded with coins, power points, credits, and even some special items like the facepalm pin and a unique player icon. You can even earn the title. Am I a joke to you? Speaking of cosmetics, Miko has a few skins coming to Brawl Stars, but just because there aren't a lot, it doesn't make them lackluster. Macaron Miko is a 29 gem skin where his boom arm now holds macarons instead of a mic. He wears a red beret to play up the fact that he's a star leading into this character even more. This will be released alongside Miko on December 14th. For Brawl Days, Miko will be putting a damper on the holiday spirits. Grouch Miko is coming in mid-December for 149 gems. You'll get a special pin and a player icon as well with this one. Miko uses a peppermint candy cane instead of his usual boom arm to attack enemies and wears a hat with horns. And additionally, when he uses his main attack, he leaves behind a trail of mist. And when using his super, he jumps up damaging all your Christmas presents while landing on the ground with some cool looking snowflake animation. When we enter the Dragon Pit in February, we get Wukong Miko. Inspired heavily by Journey to the West, this skin is a legendary one. With a hefty price tag of 299 gems, you get an awful lot of coolness along with it. Wukong Miko equips the Jingle Bong mythical staff and leaps at enemies and flourishes his staff when he lands. The custom death animation is that of his staff twirling in place. When using a super, Wukong Miko throws down his staff which expands and takes him skyward and he lands with authority beating down his staff sending a shockwave across the map. As a legendary skin, you also get 9 amazing pins, a player icon, and a spray. So if you want to grab these skins, remember to use code PAN in the Brawl Stars shop. If you liked this video and the explanation, consider subscribing. And now, I'll leave you with Miko with all of his pins and all of his voice lines in Brawl Stars. Yeah, go ahead, just keep laughing. What am I, a joke to you? I'm a chimp, I jump around on a monkey bus, yeah, huh? I think there's some monkey business going on around here. Bye-bye. I'm going up to the big jungle gym in the sky. Oh, easy, knucklehead. Hey, 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 easy, fella. Oh, back off. All right, that's it. Enough monkeying around. Yeah. Kaboom, Mike. Whoa, I am way too talented for this, schmuckerini. Telling you, I'm always the one sorting out the mess here. Yeah, got your guts on tape. Louder, mister. I'm recording your screams. Oh, 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 please, with the screaming. <laughs> we all knew the risks. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm the Chimp Champ, baby! And the Oscar goes to... Ho ho ho! I'm gonna be a star for sure! I'm number one, baby! Top of the wild! The wild that everything in it! Ain't no monkeying around over here! <laughs> Whoa, that was primal! Countdown to chaos! Testing one, two, three! Testing! Yeah, this is just a side gig! Hello, my good fellas! Whoa! Time for some wackanoodle! Uh, I'm going bananas! Michael! Drop moment! Not so tough now, are you, wise and hymas? Primate power! Boom, baboon! Can you laugh too long? Everything is a dream. Ah, old son, go! What is this? 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 
起开，都是小意思。嗯，蹦嘎，哼，我若成佛，天下无魔，当我老孙者，通通让开。让你知道这金箍棒的厉害啊！哦，你说啥？大点声，给我一点尖叫声！嘿嘿嘿嘿嘿嘿嘿！你孙外公在此，你没听过？哦，齐天大圣，我就问还有谁？哦，嘿嘿嘿嘿嘿嘿！超出三界之外，不在五行之中。我若成魔，佛奈我何？哦，都在哪儿呢？高处不胜寒呢，孩儿们。美猴王来了，俺老孙来也。嗯，有妖怪，这只是俺的兼职工作。啊哈，我的徒子徒孙们，嘿，准备大闹一场。哈哈，吃俺老孙一棒。哦，妖怪哪里逃？看我七十二变。嘿嘿嘿嘿嘿，天压我，那我就劈开这天。哦，嘿嘿，棒棒棒，送你一路上西天。See you guys next time, and remember to use code PEN in the Brawl Stars shop.